guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Ahsoka. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode four of Ahsoka. On the last episode, we got a lot. We got purgles. We got Jedi training, kinda, lightsaber training. <laughs> um, but, but we are headed to Balin, and I'm really excited to get to that, mostly because he's a very interesting character. Um, he is not light nor dark, but he's somewhere in the middle, I think, with Ahsoka. And not that they're even remotely the same, but I, I do feel like like maybe he bends one way or the other, and like obviously she's going to bend towards the light, and he bends more a little bit more towards the dark. He very much like even said that it would be regretful to kill Ahsoka. I don't think he wants to kill Ahsoka. I don't think he means any harm to Ahsoka. I think he'd rather just keep her out of it completely. But the fact that we know from the previews that he knows Anakin and that he's I'm betting going to manipulate her or try to manipulate her with the memory of Anakin. While I'm looking forward to that, I'm really looking forward to Ray Stevenson in this performance because he's already been like pretty, I don't even want to say like amazing. He's just, he he's captivating. When he's on the screen, that's all I can look at. And so I'm really excited for this performance and I'm really interested to see like how quickly it takes for us to get to Thrawn. Like, I, I hope it's not the last episode. I, I, I would like to be there um, at the end of this episode, maybe at the beginning of the next episode. But uh, I'm also maybe kind of sort of hoping for a little bit of a flashback with Anakin. If we don't get it, that's completely fine. But uh, I, I would be very happy if we get a little taste of that. Now, we also had Hera in the last episode, and we got to meet Jason, and I was very happy to get that little piece of Kanan back. Um, but, you know, pretty much it's politics as usual. Um, we can see why the New Republic wasn't able to get anything done, mostly because people are either on the take or they're just very naive as to what they think is actually going on, and the Empire couldn't possibly exist anymore. And, of course, we know that that's not true. We know where it's headed. Uh, but it's really frustrating because Hera is throwing out warnings left and right, saying Thrawn is going to return. Like, we, we have to stop this from happening. And you don't understand what it was like. And and is she's kind of like, really, did you fight in a war? Do you know what that's like? And none of them do. Um, and I'm, I'm sure they didn't get their hands dirty during the rebellion, uh, what what makes us think they would do it after the rebellion? But uh, I think Hera might have a plan. I, I don't know if she's going to be so quick to break free of the the New Republic or not, uh, if she's going to do something she shouldn't, but I know Chopper would. <laughs> and if that happens, I'm okay with it. Now, obviously, I also remember from uh, some of the other scenes about Shin and uh, Sabine having... Uh, rematch. Um, again, I, I don't think Shin wants to kill Sabine. I think it, I think she's actually kind of intrigued by her that she's just like, oh, there's this other, you know, lightsaber wielder. Um, but uh, Sabine doesn't, she doesn't communicate with the Force. And she needs to. And I don't know if in a time of need or uh, when, when, when the times are desperate, if she will be able to or not. But I'm... I'm really looking forward to both these confrontations, 100%. Like, I, I feel like it's going to be a feast for the eyes. So I'm not going to delay it any further. Super excited to get into this episode, guys. So let's get into it. I'm going to try again. Affirmative. Come in, home one, do you read us? It's obviously not your ship. <laughs> They're obviously blocking you. I fear we face a difficult choice. If we can't make the journey to find Ezra, then no one should. Yeah, I get it. He'd be stranded out there. Maybe this time for good. Better that than allowing Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. Yes. We know that that won't be the case, but yeah. Can I count on you? Meaning? You know you can. 
Did she need to say that? Now Sabine thinks that Ahsoka is doubting her. Be careful out here. Can they set up a perimeter? Like something to like let him know that there's people around? I mean, Morok's gonna jump from out of nowhere. Is this Morok? Or is that a droid? That's a droid. <laughs> Best get underway soon. Is that a note of fear in your voice? Experience. Yeah, I was gonna say, I did not sense fear at all. <sighs> Fallen Jedi. Ouch. Oh. Don't worry about me. I'm not. Good. Should I be? <laughs> what? All this doubt you guys are sewing together here. And one more. Oh no. Huyang, are you gonna get shot? Jeez. Nice. I mean, I know he like trains Jedi, but I didn't expect a robot fight. So he was whooping some ass. That daft droid made it worse. Nope. I wouldn't. Ah! Sabine in that Mandalorian armor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. May I make one request of you both? Yeah. Stay together. You always did better that way. In my opinion. You'll thank me. I'm sure. I mean, they might get separated because... We know she takes on, we know Sabine takes on Shin by herself. <laughs> Unless there's a group happening, but I guess it'd be Ahsoka fighting Morak. I'm not just gonna sit around and do nothing, Lieutenant. But you can't leave without authorization. Watch me. There's a meeting of the general staff. What do I tell them? You'll think of something. <laughs> I love Hera. <laughs> I mean, I know she can't leave her son behind, but the fact that she's going to take him well, with is a little scary. Well, when you're a general, you can disobey orders too. Until then, buckle up. <laughs> she earned the right to disobey orders. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm sticking with it. Thanks for joining the party, Carson. Wouldn't miss it, General. You know, you're yeah. risking an awful lot by doing this. Once a rebel, always a rebel. On your signal, Phoenix leader. <laughs> oh, I love that. <gasps> Hope she shows up just in time. Is that landing? Maybe I don't understand what the ring's for, because I thought it was for a ship. Is it for a whale? I still don't understand how this is going to work, but I'm looking forward to finding out. They're going to get stopped. Yep. Going somewhere? <laughs> you guys are supposed to stay together. See, I want to see what makes this guy tick. What's he all about? What's going on under there? What's going on in here? What's going on up here? Because <laughs> he's super cool. They did in four episodes what Obi-Wan Kenobi couldn't do the entire series, which was make the Inquisitors interesting. Well, she's smiling. I mean, I want her to win, but I don't want her to kill him. Sabine, she's luring you away! Ugh. Whoa! 
Okay. Okay. My heart's racing. Oh, so it's going to take him a hot second to plot this course. That's good, because it seems like it's supposed to be really hard. I'm so worried she's going to get stabbed again or lose an arm or an eye. So cool. So cool. All she has to do is go right where your hand is, buddy. Oh, I totally thought we'd get more from him. That's a bummer. Was he a witch? Was he brought to life by Morgan? Holy shit. That's such a cool, cool shot right there. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, Sabine. I don't think she's good enough to beat her, but she might be able to knock her off her game for a hot second. Is he just waiting for her? Anakin spoke highly of you. <laughs> Interesting. Never brought up you. He never mentioned you. <laughs> Everyone in the Order knew Anakin Skywalker. Few would live to see what he became. Is that why you walked away? Abandoned him? Don't go there. Oh, this is so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, she looks sinister right there. I'm not mad about it, but... Come on, girl. I don't want either one of them to lose. That's so, that tells you what a wonderful job he does. Oh, oh. Oh my God. My whole body is shaking. I'm so nervous. Can she use the force and just pull it out of there, or is that not a thing? Like with the magic, I guess. Oh, there was something. You have no power. Oh! Whistling birds! <laughs> Oh my god, what is that going to do to her? Damn it! She's going to think Sabine's dead. Oh god! But you know no other. Destroy it! She wants to get Ezra. Step away from her. <gasps> no! She's fine. She's fine. She's Ahsoka freaking Tano. She's fine. Destroy it. She can't. She would have done it. Stay back. But you're not like her, though, are you? More than you know. She's not going to. I know you feel that Ezra Bridger is the only Damn family it. you have left. Come with me. I give you my word. No harm will come to you. Or she can't say no.
Is he force choking her? Oh, she is. I gave her my word, and unlike her former master, I shall keep mine. She didn't have any other choice, let's be honest. We want to find Ezra too. Yes, yes. Can you send assistance? Over. Copy, Yang. We're already here. But like, I don't know what they're gonna do. Let's cut across the axis and block its path. Ah, oh, spaceship. Love it. No one will be following us. I don't know, maybe Hu Yang can hack something? The main drive is now online. Can they hitch a ride on this ship that's incoming? Or... It... Or does the whole ring go without a ship in the middle? <laughs> I'm so confused at how this works. I'm very smart and I feel super stupid. Hera. Ignore them. Ignore them? Okay, better than destroy them. Maybe Ahsoka fell off the cliff and got on the ship and like this is the plan the whole time. Maybe not. Maybe she already saw that Sabine was going to do this and now she's on the hyperspace ring, but like they weren't counting on Hera being there. I just thought a ship had to be in the middle of the ring. It's the hyperdrive. They're going to jump. Oh! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Please don't kill Carson! Not that I want to spare anybody else, but... Can you... can you track them? Yeah. Big uh-oh. The whales. The whales. Oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I forgot about the whales. Oh my god, is she in the world between worlds? Oh my god! Oh my god! Y'all have not watched Rebels. You need to watch Rebels. <laughs> Bastard? I didn't expect to see you so soon. Oh god, is he in there? That looks really bad. I just want to say it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, world between worlds. I did not expect this episode. <laughs> oh my god. Aiden <laughs> Christensen. Uh, they're riding whales. They're gonna ride whales. Oh my god. Okay, where to start? Um, World Between Worlds. Couldn't be happier to be there, but I will say that uh, that doesn't look great on Hayden. I don't think that they needed to de-age him. They could have just had him look old and just say, this is what I would look like if... I had never turned to the dark side or something. I don't know. They they could have just made him happy and peaceful looking <laughs> like a force ghost or something. I don't know. That did not look good. Um, but like, I'm so happy to have heard his voice and have the both of them in a scene <laughs> in the world between worlds, which is really the only place that this could even happen. I thought maybe we'd get like a flashback and I was like, you know, like maybe they would have Ashley Eckstein play Ahsoka and then you'd get both of them. I wasn't sure how they were going to do it. It's perfect. 
except he did not look good <laughs> at all. And I will say that I've been looking forward to this fight in the woods between Sabine and Shin and Morak. And I, I, I really thought that that fight with Morak was going to go a little bit further along and that he was going to be somebody special. But really, when he dissipated and he kind of turned into like the... Uh, gosh, like one of the, like the witches of Dathomir, like from Rebels, like how they just kind of like are a wisp. Like, obviously it was a spell or it was something that Morgan had summoned. Um, but I, I will say I was looking forward to all of those fights. And then of course, Ray Stevenson and Rosario Dawson. And I have to say that I was not really impressed by the choreography. It looked like people waiting for connections to happen. Um, it wasn't smooth and... I, I will say Shin and Sabine looked a lot better, but um, definitely uh, there there were a couple moments where I was just like, I think maybe I I don't know if I'm I'm being picky and I'm picking it apart or what, but uh, yeah, I, I wasn't really impressed with the choreography. Man, I was expecting something big though. I guess that's because my expectations were so high. But I will say that like visually, it was a stunning episode. Um, uh, the the fact that we have Hera now that is here um we're, we're we're riding a whale or a whale is going to envelop us and take us there um obviously because they can travel those space lanes i don't know why i didn't think about it and obviously sabine is not going to want to give up on ezra no matter what and i know ahsoka has to know that and i don't know if there is a way to commune with her while she's in the world between worlds. I don't know. I mean, she had like a slight second where she used the force against Shin and it was just enough to like blow her hair back. And she's like, you have no power. Like, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, agree. Agree. Um, I'm frustrated with Sabine. I know Dave Filoni wrote it and he knows these characters better than anybody. It didn't seem like a Sabine type of move. I don't know. I mean, like, like, at the very end of Rebels, you know, like, like she's willing to let Ezra go and she knows that he's leaving and like, she's very strong willed. And that's like the Sabine we love. So like this one, not wanting to destroy the map. I, I, while I get it because I wanted to find Ezra, I totally forgot that we had a completely different way that we could get there. Frustrating. So frustrating. So, okay. Ahsoka communicating with Anakin and the world between worlds. And we know that all of those passageways can lead you to somewhere else and different Jedi masters can talk through those passageways. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so excited for wh where that can go. Now, please tell me in the next episode, they have fixed his face. He does not have to look that way. He doesn't have to look that way. It's it's so distracting. It really is. Um, and I, I know that that's a nitpick, a nitpick and I, I really shouldn't be that way, but I am. <laughs> you know, like, because I, I feel like I, I, I let it go when we had Luke in The Mandalorian. And I didn't do reactions then, so there wasn't me going like, like, oh, wow, mm, it looks bad. But I remember sitting at home going, they probably could have done that better. And in Bo Book of Boba Fett, it looked a lot better. It's just hire the nerds that do that stuff at home. Like, get them to do that for you. Like, that's that's their forte. Like, that's the stuff that they've been creating for years. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see why we couldn't make him look a little bit better. Maybe there's a reasoning why he looks the way he does. And I'm just like, you know, uh, making an assumption that like, that's who we're going to see the entire time. Maybe he will appear differently. I don't know. But <laughs> I've been waiting for this conversation for forever. <laughs> and again, I want a snips and a sky guy. And if I don't get a snips and a sky guy, I'll be very bummed. It's perfect. It's, it would be the perfect opportunity to do it. Oh, man. Greatest, ep great ish episode. I liked the previous one better, but I do like the fact that this one ended where it did. And what a cliffhanger. And I can't wait for next week. And I'm, I'm so excited. And, and, you know, RIP Morak, um, I really wanted more from him, but like, it, it is really interesting to know that like, he's obviously a spell or he was conjured. 
um, rather than being like an inquisitor, you know, or a, a Jedi gone bad or, or, or whatever it really was, you know, I mean, everyone had an idea. They were like, oh, it's a secret, you know, person hidden in there. Uh, I don't think anyone guessed that. I think, well, some people were like, just let Morak be Morak. And it's just like, okay, we'll let Morak be Morak. But then it was like, oh yeah, no one, no one was like, you know what? A witch made him. Yeah. Uh, it was still, um, I, I love watching the Inquisitor's, uh, lightsabers do the spinny thing. I think it looks really good in live action, but I'm also like, while it's spinning and they're holding it out like this, I think I would stab them in the hand. It's the only thing not protected and it's right there. Anyway, <laughs> so we have Carson is with us. Hera is with us. And, and when Jason says, I have a bad feeling. I think we all do. I don't think any of us felt good about that. I, I'm definitely not happy about Morgan getting to Thrawn before we can get there. Um, but I am looking forward to Thrawn. Now, I think the whole next episode is going to be World Between Worlds and maybe interjecting other parts. But if they spent their entire time there, oh, I would be so happy. Um, and also like, I just want to like, you know, tell everyone I'm, I'm okay. Like saying like, or, or like breaking apart and saying that it's not perfect. I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh my gosh, like I would never disparage Star Wars. And then there's some people that just want to shit on it every chance they get. And I will tell you that I will always point out the things that I don't like or that I don't think are working. And, uh, the, the, the way we had Sabine in this episode really bugged me. Um, her not destroying the map and her like being torn. And uh, I, I, I feel like that's a little off character from the Sabine that we know in the way she would behave. And maybe um, she just needs like, you know, some sense knocked into her. I'm not quite sure. But I will just say that, like, while I'm a fan of the actress and there are certain parts that I really like about Sabine, I'm, I'm not really digging her that much. And uh, uh, we, we could we can we can do better, I think. You can do better, I think. I will say that Ahsoka had a very uh, just menacing look on her face. And I like that because I feel like she is okay tapping into a little bit of her darkness and a little bit of the light. And like she, there, that gray area is very wide and broad for her. And um, that makes me happy because I feel like, like, not being afraid to access certain things and emotions and feelings and, and going to places that like, you know, if the, the Jedi council is doing this, you just kind of go, let's just try it, see what happens. Um, so I, I, I do like that. She kind of had a little bit of anger in her, you know, uh, she wasn't calm, cool and collected and, and absolutely perfect. Now her grabbing the map, um, and burning her hand. Um, I, I don't know if she can force heal herself. If, if that can happen in the world between worlds, um, if she's going to be able to use her other lightsaber. So uh, we'll see about that. But I am super excited for the next episode. But if you want to watch the full length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon. Uh, <gasps> but in the meantime, I'm sorry, I'm like so overwhelmed. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. How do you feel about being in the world between worlds? <laughs> How did you feel about that CGI? Because... I'm not impressed, but I was really happy that Hayden was there. Were you happy to see Hayden, to hear Hayden, to have this experience in this moment? Maybe I can just like cross my eyes and make it blurry the next episode so I don't have to like see bad CG. Um, uh, how, how are you feeling about Sabine in this episode? Because again, not knocking the actress, but I, I'm not really liking the direction or um, the way Sabine's character kind of isn't fitting to her rebels character because we have Hera and that fits a hundred percent and and we have Chopper and that fits a hundred percent and I'm I'm a little bummed about Sabine but I'm I'm hoping over the next couple episodes we see some character growth out of her and we get her back to that Mandalorian badass that we once knew um, I, I I do think she's definitely struggling so maybe that's supposed to be what we're seeing but uh, right now I'm kind of like get it together. <laughs> <laughs> but guys come back here for the next episode i am so stoked and excited to be in the world between worlds i can't even tell you enough if anything just go to new rock stars watch their recaps and they will tell you all about the world between worlds oh my gosh i feel like i'm gonna have a heart attack i i should probably go relax <laughs> okay guys 
I'll see you.